Hi everybody, this is Rose of Sharon. I'm back again with another book review. I just recently finished A Conspiracy of Truths written by Alexandra Rowland and I really was not familiar with her but she grew up in the Caribbean and then in the House of Florida and because she was so sick of the tropics why would anybody be sick of the tropics she decided to move to <laughs> Massachusetts which I guess I don't hold it against her, but honestly, I would have stayed in the tropics. But I, I suppose Massachusetts is a beautiful place as well. I've, I've never really been. I've just, I've seen pictures and yeah, it's, it's rather beautiful. But nonetheless, the story itself, A Conspiracy of Truths, it's about um, a man named Champ who is wrongfully accused of being a black witch in this society that reviles black witches and they have this whole conspiracy against them because they feel that black witches are inherently evil and there are a lot of ethics going on here <laughs> or lack thereof in this fantastical setting and I absolutely love it because there are a lot of really pearl, good pearls of wisdom to carry away from the book itself because Chant is actually speaking to one of his captors behind bars, and he's actually handling it quite well. And he says, money itself is all figment of our imagination. The metal that it's printed on, it's real, but are those pictures and metal together considered money when it doesn't really exist? And I thought, ooh, boy, <laughs> that's a very deep question. It's sort of like time and the whole idea about time itself and personally I don't think time exists but what do I know I, I think it's a very unusual substance that is vibrational but I don't know I'm, I'm a lot of the same ilk as Tesla is on the subject but I don't really know how to explain it due to the fact that I don't have the background for it to make sense so anyway Chant is allowed to live due to the tales that he weaves and it's rather interesting that <laughs> he keeps himself alive in this way and it's not a sugar-coated fairy tale, it's very blunt, it's very sarcastic, it's tongue-in-cheek and it's dark and actually I really like it, especially the cover of the book itself is very Art Nouveau, it's very beautifully illustrated just on the front and the back and the main premise is tell a good story that will catch and hold their attention or die that's dire in other words your very life hangs in the balance it's the sword of Damocles right over your head tell a fantastic yarn or <coughs> you're dead but even even then, there were black witches that are being just slaughtered in this mystical land that Chant is from. And he's not even from a place that has black witches. So it's, uh, it's irritating, you think. Oh boy, your justice system is just as messed up as ours, isn't it? But nonetheless, it's a very exquisitely written book. It's the descriptions of Chant's stories, it, it, even with Ilfling, when he starts to craft his amazing children's tales and of course he pauses for the children to figure out the, the riddles and I always thought that was really quite interesting. He was waiting for his audience to respond. He said, well, he, he said you could do it this way but you don't necessarily have to continue rambling on riddles if the children are becoming bored with your story and it's very silly, but it's uh, also extremely sensationally written, and I highly recommend it because I had never read anything by Alexandra, but the title caught my eye, and I didn't know what it was about. And I thought, oh, it's fantasy, so let me give it a let me give it a go, let me give it a read, and I adored it. And um, that's all I got to say about Alexandra. The back flap talks a little bit about her. She works as a game monitor and as, as a, at an escape room. Yeah, that's 
very impressive actually. Go, you go, girl. She is an occasional bespoke seamstress. She writes under the supervision of her feline quality control manager. <laughs> Which I thought was funny. I thought, yeah, I've got a feline quality control manager as well as a canine <laughs> quality assurance manager. But they always keep me on my toes, even though they're pretty chillax right now. But other than that, my update is that I'm not going to be moving. I'm going to stay here for the time being. I think it's better for me. The whole idea of moving currently in my situation isn't the greatest so I decided I'll take you out I can get in the apartment I like the apartment the apartment's not bad the living situation here the neighborhood neighborhood's fantastic and I have access to a good lot of many multitudinous things but that's about all I have to say for now and I'll keep you on the update about my master's degree and my going prod projects, well, the projects I'm currently working on, as well as future businesses. So I will see you later, my gardeners. Till next time, live well and prosper. Ciao, tutti.